Hello, my name is Perry Krug and I'm a systems engineer with Gear 6. Today I'm going to do a brief walkthrough of an open source tool for monitoring your memcache traffic. This tool is called the Advanced Reporter and was developed by some of the engineers working at Gear 6. The tool is essentially a kernel level stream analyzer that watches all the traffic going to a particular IP address and port combination and parses out the memcached traffic. By capturing the incoming IP address and the key that is being accessed, this reporter can supply very useful information about the usage and distribution of keys within your memcache infrastructure. The advanced reporter is included by default in the Gear 6 webcache solution, but we also made it available to the open source community. You can find all the information and downloads for the advanced reporter via the Google Code interface. Simply type Memcache Advanced Reporter into Google and follow the appropriate link. From here you can click on the Downloads tab and get the latest version. Since this is a kernel module, it will require a bit of extra knowledge to recompile your kernel to use it. I'm not going to go that far into depth, but rather show you how to use the tool. Once you have the module installed and have set up a running Memcached server, you can tell that to the default port of 23357. Once you're connected, you can type help to see the list of available commands. The first step is to begin monitoring a particular IP and port combination. This is done through the add command. Here, I'm going to begin monitoring the 10.1.7.37 address on port 11211, and you can use show instances to verify that it took place. I've already got some traffic going to this IP address using another one of our open source tools called Brutus. It takes a few seconds for the first polling cycle to complete. And now I can look at the top keys that have been accessed by typing top-keys, followed by all for all operations, the IP and port that I want to query, the amount of time and minutes that I want to look back through, and the number of keys that I want returned. Here you can see a list of key names, their length, the IP and port that they reside upon, the number of operations done, and the amount of bytes read and written. Next, I can view the top clients that are talking to this IP address by typing top-clnts followed by ops, the IP and port that I want to query, the amount of time and minutes that I want to look back through, and the number of clients that I want returned. Now, I get a list of source IP addresses and ports, the number of operations they've done, broken into sets and gets, and the amount of bytes read and written. Lastly, I can get the top clients that are accessing a specific key by entering top-clnts followed by the key name, the IP and port that I want to query, and the amount of time and minutes that I want to look back through. Returned is a list of IP addresses and ports and the number of times that they've accessed this particular key. By combining all this information, the advanced reporter allows administrators to get a detailed view into the specific activity that is going through a particular Memcached server. The tool has been designed to have minimal performance impact and is actually quite fast. It is being used in a number of production environments, but as always, individual mileage may vary and you should be conscious about introducing anything into your production traffic. The advanced reporter can be used in conjunction with another monitoring tool called Stats Proxy, which I will be demoing in the coming weeks. The advanced reporter is completely open source and is under continuous development to improve and add features. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to me today, and take care.